everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video it's gonna be a little bit of a travel vlog where I am right now I'm at uh, Port Stanley Ontario and basically I'm just uh, two hours away from my hometown of Toronto now you might be asking me Mark are you traveling but you're actually not taking plane actually I just drove here with my parents and yes I did not uh, really go in airplane but yeah because we are kind of too scared to fly but on the bright side I can show you one of uh, my travel vlogs and uh, I'm gonna use this video for today to show some of my highlights here in Port Stanley because I think you're gonna really really love it so right now I'm at the beach right now I believe I'm in Lake Ontario I'm going to have to ask but Anyways, yeah, I'm in Lake Ontario and you can see that I'm not wearing my shirt. I'm actually in my swim trunks and you can see in the background there's the beach behind me. And yeah, so this is uh, where I am right now. So let's get started to the vlog. This is, uh, this is the uh, view of where I am sitting right now. It's really, really nice over here. And this is the uh, view behind it. I love it. When we arrived at Port Stanley, we actually found out that Port Stanley actually offered some train rides with their vintage uh, trains over there, but we got some bad news when we arrived. They closed due to COVID-19. However, the good news was is that the owners of the Port Stanley uh, uh, Railway were generous enough to allow me to access some of their uh, uh, trains from the outside. Uh, and allowing me for some photography as well as taking some video shots of their vintage train so it was kind of like a really really nice welcome later after that we uh, spent most of our uh, day in the hot sun it was kind of like uh, almost uh, 30 degrees uh, where we uh, were at the time we went there on a Sunday so I was not expecting it to be busy but surprisingly the beach kind of got crowded and uh, we did try to maintain much physical distancing as possible. So after a fun day of swimming, we kind of took a little walk around uh, this little uh, uh, sidewalk and surprisingly we were supposed to enter uh, uh, one of the lighthouses uh, in the uh, harbor and surprisingly, another bad news, they were closed. However, I tried to get as much as good photos near the lighthouse as possible. It kind of looks like we were in Peggy's Cove, so I'm surprised that Port Stanley kind of looks more like we were in Atlantic Canada, kind of like we were in New Newfoundland slash uh, uh, Nova Scotia.
So, on the way home, we did stop at uh, one of the uh, on routes in Ontario, and then we got this. I had a Tim Hortons uh, muffin and a Tim Hortons strawberry and banana smoothie. It was and delicious. And that concludes my uh, trip to Port Stanley, everyone. Thank you so much for watching another video of mine. I know this doesn't really involve me flying because, of course, Port Stanley doesn't have an airport, obviously, because of its uh, population. And it's a very, very uh, small town. So, yeah, uh, we didn't uh, really uh, stay there. It's just a day trip. But it was still worth it to go to Port Stanley. I think uh, this is uh, worth uh, making one of my first videos on my travel vlogs. So if you like this video, everybody, I really, really hope that you give me the big thumbs up. I want to hear from you what you think about my trip and uh, if you've ever been somewhere around Canada. Let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you're new. And as always, see you in the next video.